To all of you, today an intense day in court as testimony began in the Keith Williams trial. That's the man accused of attacking and blinding Rochester police officer Denny Wright back in October of 2019. Today, those in the courtroom heard emotional testimony and saw graphic body camera footage from that day. Eric Hedda Cost joins us live with the latest. Eric Hedda. Good evening. Well, Adam and Teresa, you could feel the intensity in the courtroom as that body worn camera footage played. We also heard Wright recount the moment that William, he says Williams punched him with force, uh, causing him to land on his back before he was repeatedly stabbed and punched, uh, causing him to lose eyesight. Wright says the last thing he saw before going blind was a knife under the couch. Wright says it started with a call for family trouble on Peck Street. He arrives to a home to find a woman concerned for her family member. The body cam footage showing Keith Williams hiding under a bed, clearly in a distressed mental state. Wright tries to get him out and taken to the hospital in a calm manner until things take a turn. We see Williams run for the door. At this point, Wright says Williams punches him with force, knocking him on his back. Chaos ensues, yelling, screaming, Officer Wright begging for it to stop. Many of his colleagues are seeing all of this for the first time today. I think what you see is training, uh, um, experience, uh, everything kicking in. And that's what gets an officer through a situation like that. And the most important thing that we always learn is you never give up. You never stop fighting. Wright says he had an opportunity to try to shoot Williams, but he chose to shoot at the ceiling instead after losing eyesight. He didn't want to hit a family member. And then uh, you, you saw a person that even made a choice, you know, I'm going to disengage my weapon, discharge it. And uh, he had an opportunity to discharge it towards where he thought the threat was. And even with that, he, you know, he testifies, I'm blind. I don't know where this bullet's going to go, and I own that bullet. So he shot it into the ceiling. Jurors also heard testimony and saw evidence from a few officers and civilians. Lieutenant Bing Reeves and postal worker Rameek Hill both helped hold down Williams and restrain him. The two described trying to talk him down and calm him. And I anticipate that other body-worn cameras will be offered and, and hopefully admitted during the course of this trial. So these, these jurors are seeing the crime as it occurred, and it's going to be up to them to interpret exactly what happened. Officer Wright says moving forward, he's been working on finding a new sense of purpose, a new way to serve the community. He's currently on medical leave with the department and says he's been very active in visiting the police academy, talking to young officers, mentoring them, teaching them the lesson of perseverance. The trial will resume Monday at 930 in the morning. For now, in Rochester, Eric Hedda Cost, News 8. All right, Eric Hedda, thank you. Williams rejected a plea deal, which included a 25-year sentence. If convicted, the local man could face a maximum penalty of 40 years to life in prison.